together. So when you try to cut that small part, it has a tendency to try to roll back with the blade. The other thing you should make is a Meyer saw slid. What this does is give you zero clearance in the back as well as the front so you can cut those small parts safer and cleaner because it's zero clearance. You're getting less tear out there. All you have to do is measure the width and the depth at 90 degrees and then cut a piece of plywood and or MDF and cut that to size. From there, I cut two small strips and glued them under the backside touching the miter saw on each side, and that's gonna hold that in place left and right. From there, I cut a fence that's about three inches tall and just CA glued that to the back to temporarily stick it in place. Next, you wanna set the depth setting so that it does not cut all the way through your jig. What that's gonna do is give you a zero clearance and it gives you an exact spot where that blade is cutting every single time, so it's much easier to line up your cuts. And for small parts, this is where this is specifically needed.